my little story about Peach Pit Ring, Aura Maguire, our famous Aura, I call her Stella Dora, <laughs> meaning in Italian, a star of gold. <laughs> Anyhow, she, uh, Aura Maguire saw me display a Peach Pit Ring that I made and she was taken by it, right? She insisted that I give a demonstration and show how I made the ring. You know Aura. You just can't turn her down. <laughs> when I was a young boy growing up in the Bronx, in New York City, uh, I would get a peach pit like this. Peach pit. And then... Uh, I would get the peach pit and I would file it down. Now, when I was a kid, I didn't have a file. I didn't have sandpaper. So what I did have was sidewalks. And sidewalks were made out of concrete. Oh, okay. And so what I would do is I would take this pit and I would go for hours. I would rub it and rub it and rub it and rub it and turn it over on both sides. And then I would, I would, keep rubbing it until I got the desired shape of the ring. It would take me a week. I mean, can you picture, you know how hard these pitch pe uh, peach pits are. So that's what I would do. I would rub it uh, on the concrete. Uh, all the sidewalks, like I said, were made out of concrete. And I would rub and rub and rub the pit on the concrete until I got the desired shape. Then, with a nail, like so, I would take the peach pit, after it was rubbed down, I would take it and make a starter hole. Like that. And then I have my beginnings. This here I pre I I filed this down before I came. I did it yesterday. And I used this tool. This is makes it a lot easier and a lot quicker. So what I did is uh, I stu I started filing this down and what you do is you take it, and this is a high-speed uh, hobby tool, and then you and you get the hole through both sides. And then what you do is you take the and then you make it big enough, like so. And you keep rotating it. This side is not filed down, but I'll just work on this one side to give you an idea how it works. Then I change the tool and I put in my little rotary sandpaper disc and uh, and that will help me to uh, make the size of the hole my desired size. And I do it so. Okay, so now I take this and I ream it out with this. And you have to be careful when you use this tool because you could really do a number on your fingers. So then I get it this way and then I finally get it in. And, um, and so that's part of the hole there. And then, <clears throat> um, then I just keep shaping it and then I flatten out the front. I'm, I'm kind of speeding up the process. But like I mentioned to other people, there are no two peach pits the same. 
just like all of you here in the room, you're human beings, but you're not the same. You know? So what we try to do is make a ring so that you're all the same. And we shape it. And this peach pit is being shaped through diversity. And in our lifetime, we are shaped through diversity. Okay? And so when the storms come, when the floods come, when the flames come, we get shaped. And this is what this peach pit is doing now. It's getting shaped up. And so basically, that's what I do to make this ring. Uh, <clears throat> and then I did pass these rings around before. You saw them, okay? And, and this is the finished product. This is going to go to my granddaughter, Julia. And this particular one is probably about 50, 56 years old. And what had happened years ago when Mary Lou and I met, we started going out. And uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I was in the process of going to, I was going to propose to her. So I took this ring because I had ordered a diamond ring. And it never came on time. So I used to travel back and forth to come up to see Mary Lou on weekends from New York City. And uh, I would come up and then the, the time came when I was going to give her a ring and I didn't have the diamond ring. So I had this ring like this and we went out for dinner or something and I said, hey honey, I want to present this to you or give this to you. I didn't get on my knees. <laughs> But uh, so what I did is I gave her this ring, and uh, and this, if you notice, it's oxidized. It's a different color than this one that I made for Julia. It's a lighter color, okay. And all peach pits come in different colors. Uh, some of them are nectarines, and some of them are regular peach pits, and they come from different places and they have different colors. So when I complete the work on it, I did give her a diamond ring, by the way, a couple of weeks later. <laughs> but she was so good enough, she was good enough to hang on to this ring all these years, and I love you for that. And uh, so uh, uh, what I do is I take rubbing compound, uh, and I actually rub it, and it gives it a nice smooth finish. And then what you could do is also spray it with polyurethane. Uh, and um, and, and that's basically it, you know. And I had uh, shown this to uh, Carol, who is the bus driver, and she got so excited about seeing this, so she said to me, I want to go home and try making one. So she came home, she came back a couple of days later, and she said to me, you know, Tony, I tried making the rings, and my hands are all bruised, because she has a similar type of equipment. She said, how do you hold it in place? I said, well, you just got to really hold on tight, you know, because it will slip out of your hand. Well, anyhow, her husband heard about it, and he started making it. So when I, I went down one day to the, uh, the senior center, and there was Don. He helps out in the kitchen. He makes Thursday breakfast with uh, Joe Penza. And he said, Tony, what do you think of this one? So he showed me. And that was his first one that he made. That's not this one, but he made one. So I think this thing has become contagious. Everybody's talking about peach pit rings. So basically, that's my story, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.